Hi, I'm Todd Matheson with Victory Lutheran Church in Mesa, Arizona. Thanks for joining with me today for some daily hope. As of late, my daily God time has been reading through the Gospel of Mark. I've been struck by how Mark makes some interesting notations about kind of the human side of Jesus. For example, did you know that not once but twice, Mark mentions how Jesus sighed while he served. <sighs> sighed. <laughs> the first is found in Mark chapter 7, beginning at verse 31. The Bible says, Then Jesus left the vicinity of Tyre and went through Sidon down to the Sea of Galilee and into the region of the Decapolis. There some people brought to him a man who was deaf and could hardly talk. And they begged Jesus to place his hand on him. After he took him aside, away from the crowd, Jesus put his fingers into the man's ears. Then he spit and touched the man's tongue. He looked up to heaven and with a deep sigh said to him, Ephatha, which means be opened. At this, the man's ears were opened, his tongue was loosened, and he began to speak plainly. With a deep sigh. Jesus looked up toward his Father in heaven, sighed deeply, and healed the man's speech and hearing. Wow. The second time Mark notes Jesus sighing is in chapter 8, beginning at verse 11. He writes, The Pharisees came and began to question Jesus. To test him, they asked him for a sign from heaven. He sighed deeply and said, why does this generation ask for a sign? Truly I tell you, no sign will be given to it. Here, Jesus is rebuking the religious legalists, knowing they are disingenuous in their questioning, only seeking to trap him in his words. And what is Jesus' response? Well, before he chastises them, Jesus sighs. Hmm. Jesus sighs. He sighed when healing the afflicted man, and Jesus sighed when encountering religious hypocrites. Dear friend, that's our Savior. That is how Jesus engages with us today, meeting us, serving us, whether with a healing touch or a word of instruction. And always, I would say, with a sigh revealing a heart that breaks for our own brokenness. When Jesus brings his healing and saving power into your life, he does so with a heart that is tender for you and with a heart that is sometimes broken for you, caring for you. Jesus loves you and he sighs out of a heart that cares deeply for you, even as he brings healing and guidance. And so today, my dear friend, take heart as you walk with Jesus this day. Listen for his gentle but heartfelt sigh, knowing Jesus cares for you. Let's pray. Father in heaven, you love us deeply and you sent your son as our Savior. Lord Jesus, you came willingly leaving the Father's side that you might enter into your creation, which is fallen and twisted by sin. And with a heart full of love and compassion, you heal us, you guide us, you exhort us, you encourage us, you love us, you serve us. And may each of us here, listening or watching this this day, hear your sigh of love as you reach out and engage with us this day the things that we're facing, the, the ups and the downs, the challenges, the opportunities. Lead us, guide us, heal us, and thank you for saving us out of your great love. I thank you for this in your precious name. Amen. Hey, thanks for joining with me today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And go in peace and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.